Welcome back to YouTube, everybody. For the ones that actually do watch it. Ah, I'm trying to see if today I can give you all a little bit of information that would be valuable to all of us. I know I told you before that I want to, you know, look at these amendment rights and all of that stuff. Let's see what we got here. Oh, chill. That's the old, older cat say chill. <laughs> we got right chill. Don't worry, Pam. <laughs> We're going to be responsible. You'll see. I'm going to get a job at a law firm. Let's see what he's going to say. You're going to quit school? No, I know this at school. Yeah. So we, um, <laughs> right now, in this video, I'm naming it hmm? part two of the survival of the fittest. But at the same time, I want to uh, share a bit of information with you all about the amendment rights. Mama, can you turn it down a little bit, my love? Just a little bit. This is how easy it is for everybody that, that's not understanding how to look up your amendment rights. Amendment rights. Amendment rights. See that? According yeah. to the White House, an amendment may be proposed by a two-thirds vote of both houses of Congress, or if two-thirds of the states request one, by a convention called for that purpose. Let's check these uh, member rights out one through ten right quick, y'all. Because I'm trying to show y'all how easy it is to, like, if you want to, you know, um, use your rights. Here it is. We could do it the big way or the, or the short way. I want to um, try to get the short one. The short one is not necessarily going to be. Uh, this site cannot be reached. You see? I'm going down. Come on now. Let's play. Let's try to show y'all this way. We're going to try to be boring, boring with it. Okay. <clears throat> As it shows on the first amendment right, it says Congress shall make no law respecting establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise of thereof and abiding the freedom of speech or of press or of the right of people to peacefully assemble and to petition the government for the red wrist of grievance. Now, do you all understand what that says for the people that, that, that are at the bottom and they don't understand the First Amendment right? That basically is saying that if you are out there videotaping, they can't come up there and arrest you for it. They can't ask you for ID and, and, and violate your First Amendment right. Remember, freedom of speech, which means if you cuss them out, they ain't got the right to come over there and arrest you or beat you. Uh, or, or of the press which means if you got a camera and you're recording on public property of course they, they don't have the right to bother you the right the, the, the peaceful the right to, of people to peaceful assemble that means if you all decide to go out here and you know and walk the streets in a, in a peaceful uh, you know formed assembly they can't bother you you know, you see how when y'all protest, they go out there and they start, you know, committing violent acts towards y'all. They, they, they're they breaking the law when they're doing that. And you all need to realize that. Second Amendment. A well-regulated mentally uh, beginning necessary to the security of a free state. The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. And as you see, every fucking day, the police violate that right. Every time they see a black man with a gun, they want to shoot you down in the streets or put you in jail. They make up these fucked up ass laws to try to keep you all, you know, in check, basically. 
Third Amendment. No soldier shall in time of peace be quartered in any house without the consent of the owner, nor in the time of war, but in a matter to be prescribed by law. Fourth Amendment. This is the one they break all the time too, y'all. The right of the people to be secure in their persons. That means if you're in your car, in your house, or wherever you, even if you're just walking down the street, to be secure in your persons, which is supposed to be their job, to keep you secure, safe. Houses, paper, and if efforts against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated. You see? And no warrant shall be issued but upon probable cause. Probable cause. That means that you did something and your name came up in something. And somebody got proof that you did it. Supported by oath or, fear or, or affirmation. And particularly describing the place to be searched and the person or thing to be seized. Fifth Amendment. No person shall be held to answer for a capital or otherwise infamous crime unless the priest, uh, the priest, president, or indictment of the grand jury, except in cases arising in the land of the naval forces or the military, when in actual services in time of war or public dangers, nor, nor shall or any person be subject for the same offense to be twice put in jeopardy of their life or limbs, nor shall they compel. In any criminal case, to be in a witness against himself, nor deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, nor shall private property be taken for public use without the compensation, which they break that law a lot too, like to take your camera phones and all that shit from you, knock them out your hand, and all that type of stuff. Now, I could go on and on with these amendment rights, but I just want you all to get the first few, the ones that they break a lot, and I would like to. You know, try to go over, you know, more of these amendment rights with you. But I just don't want to be on the video just boring you with the amendment rights. Now, I will be making a copy of all of these amendment rights. And, you know, tr trying to get you all to understand the rights that are being broken out here every day by the police. Every time they see a black man or woman, they think that's their right to just justify disrespecting us and, and, and breaking the rules. Now, if, if they feel like we're breaking the rules... Why is it they're not getting punished for breaking the rules? We have to make sure that they get punished, you know, for breaking the rules. They're so quick to punish us when we break the rules, but they're not getting punished for breaking the rules. So we need to put that on them, you know, and until we start breaking up and realizing what the laws are, we're going to continue to get treated like this. So we need to fix, you know, we need to fix this. So, um, survival of the fittest. Right now, let me show you what your boy doing. You remember yesterday I showed y'all the little, um, uh, Sasha thing or whatever. Well, today, things is going to be a little different. We're still up in this mug. We're doing our little cooking. You see the little thing right there? We're about to throw some grease up in that piece. And, um, it smells really good right there. Um, make some, uh, fried fish out of this joint. So, I'm about to pull this off. Show y'all what I did so far. You know, when it comes down to the, um, thing my girl says she's going to pick those potatoes up right there and make some fries out of it so I don't know all I know that what I'm about to do is, is these, these people right here these three fish have been invited to dinner so therefore they are going to be enjoyed <laughs> let me kind of wrap it up this is my marinade you know I did a, a, a liquid marinade this time you say I do dry marinade but this time I felt compelled to do a liquid marinade, you know, just so all that thing can just soak up in there. I can go some of my onions fell off the top, but she, where I got the uh, fish, you know, as we uncover it, you see the fish are, you know, kind of trying to call myself smothering it with the onions or whatever, but <laughs> you know, once you put a bag over some shit, it's gonna be all like, ah, you know. Look at that. Hey, you pretty good, huh? Is? And then soaking up that marinade that I hey, made earlier in it. You know, so, sure. you know, when I take it out of that, you know, I'll throw, probably throw like the little onions and shit up in there sure. when I fry it. You know, and, and so you gotta be that, you know. Oh. You know, look at them. Three of them. Ready to go into that fry right there. Probably one or two at a time, more likely two at a time, just facing the east and wire away from each other and then we 
Yep. I was going to bread and fry, but I ain't going to bread and fry shit. I'm about to season the dishes back up again. And then as soon as I get done, feed seasoning back up again. I'm going to throw them bad boys right over there. They're going to they fry on their own with their thing. So, soon, soon, soon. I'm about to shave so they don't get too. I don't want to pre cook them. I just want to uh, get that marinade to sit on there real good. Yep. Survival of the fittest, y'all. Your boy Rod J B up in here doing what he gotta do, you know. Even if it is, you know, in a place that is not necessarily comfortable for me and, and my girl, and you know, puts me in a place where I could take care of my my babies over in Chicago. So you know, but I gotta do what I gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Survival of the fittest. That's why I call it survival of the fittest. You know, just try to give y'all a new flavor or something different on my life. You know, my book, my my you know chapters or whatever. Now, you know, as I always do. <laughs> Got my 211, but it's stowed up in the cup. <laughs> Y'all know that's not something I'm about to uh, miss out up on the video now. Yeah, nah. what I'm thinking about doing with the fish, uh, maybe I already said she's gonna do the potatoes right there. So I'm thinking we could do that. Survival of the fittest today also fixed that truck on that car too because uh <laughs> both were acting up. The windshield wipe was gone on both of them. You need brakes on the truck. It's running good otherwise. <laughs> you know, but you do a little work. Then the you know the Nissan need a little work. So did a tune up on it already. You know, just just surviving. You just gotta do what you gotta do day by day. And, you know, for the other guys out here, you know, the ones that I call the nigga niggas, I really do wish y'all would wake the fuck up and realize what, what y'all doing to each other. Because every time you all go out here and, and manipulate, kill, rob, and do the things y'all do to each other, it just hurts us more. It just puts us in a deeper hole. And I know a lot of y'all can't give a fuck. But that's the mentality that's getting y'all killed every day on the streets. Not only by the police, but by your own. So until you all start waking up, like I tell you damn near in every video that I do, until you all start waking up and realizing what you all are doing to each other, we're going to still have the same bullshit that's continue going on day by day like this. Until you all start getting focused and start trying to, you know, figure out how can you beat the, this, this drought that we're in. Because there's ways to beat it, but a lot of you all don't want to try. You all rather just wait on the money to fall in your lap, and that's not how this life works. People ain't about to just say, hey, I got a million dollars for you. Here, you can have it. They're not going to say that. You got to go out there and do something for yourself rather than just plotting to take it from somebody else because eventually somebody's going to take it from you, and then your life might be taken along with it because you out here trying to do something that you ain't got no business doing. People work hard for these stuff. They don't need some nigga or anybody coming up there trying to take it from them when they work hard for it on a daily basis. And like I told you before, these Karens and these Kevins and these Carls, you know, that's, that's going around messing with people, harassing people just because they're doing their job or just because they're recording. Leave people alone because people are getting tired. Eventually, it's going to be a point where there will be war, but the war that y'all least expect because y'all out here picking on people every day. Ain't nobody going to side with the law when the law keeps breaking the law. We pay you as a taxpayer to protect us not shove our money in our face and a lot of people feel a lot of the taxpayers now feel like we just we got played we got played because the very people that we want to protect us is not protecting us instead they're the ones that we got to watch out for we got to make sure our kids are protected from these people that we call the police I shouldn't have to worry about if my daughters go out in the street, they might get shot or harassed or sexually harassed by a police officer or slammed down to the ground like a man. These are the very people that we pay taxes to protect our kids and our families, and yet they're the ones that's out here attacking us. So that's what I'm saying. And it, we need to wake up, and I keep telling y'all that all the time. Now, if I have to say it in every video, I'm going to keep saying it because we need to wake up. Realize what's going on around you. The only way you won't beat this is if you all start waking up and realize that the mistake that you're making is not waking up. 
Nah, like I said, today I was going to keep the video brief, and that's where I'm at with it. Survival of the fittest, like I said. We got, we got, I got kicked out of my apartment, but we still surviving. We still pushing. We're not just going to give up and go out there and say, you know what? I'm going to go rob somebody today. And if I have to kill them, I'm going to kill them. No, I'm not about to do that because there's other ways to fix the problem. Rather than going out there and robbing. We paying so much fucking money in this hotel every month trying to get by. And it's hard, but we still getting by. This doesn't give nobody an excuse to go out there and mis mistreat somebody and, and misuse their privileges. Just because you ain't got it. So you feel like you got the right to take it from somebody else? So how, how would you feel if somebody felt like they got the right to take it from you? Cause there's gonna be a day you're gonna be too comfortable thinking that ain't nothing ever gonna happen and you're gonna find out that, that, you, that, that, that it's just begun the trouble in your life just begun because you're a fool you're out here doing dumb shit when you should be doing something smart with your life like i told you go and look at some of these investment videos go on, go and look at these videos look at martin Rowland. look at some of these other videos we the people check out what's really going on around you do you think that the thug life is the only thing that's going on around you? Y'all like the, the dumb shit. Always want to listen to some Webby and Bootsy and all the trash. You know, you need to start listening to something that's going to help you. Well, I think I can make that time. Y'all want money, right? <laughs> Why don't y'all invest your time into something that's going to help you make money then? The dope gang don't make money for everybody. The dope gang getting our, our kids and our families killed out here. And y'all still seem like y'all don't get it. Too focused on the money rather than what it takes for you all to get out here and do the right thing anyway that's it you can give me a thumbs up thumbs down subscribe to the channel so i can keep up with this channel i got two other channels you all know what they are it's into the mind of rjb brown or into my mind of rjb brown whichever one you want to go to just got literal videos just like this on there so the fun videos is on every now and then and there'll probably be some more fun videos coming because i have a g37 that i'm going to project and it's already been halfway project anyway so you know just stay tuned y'all go see this little, you know, some other sides of me that y'all probably like dang i ain't even always like that but yeah i got a g37 four-wheel drive i like them better as four-wheel drive they're quicker off the line you know zero to 60 you can give you know you can drop them down about five seconds flat you know from zero to 60 depending on what you do to it with the, whatever tune you try to take across it whether it's turbocharged or not turbocharged i think they can go down like the like you know probably like three point something i think somebody said the quickest they car was was like 3.2 seconds or something zero to 60 but it was twin turbo too so that makes a big difference but anyway hopefully god willing there be some content coming soon on this G37. I really want to do it to a, you know, with the G37. I want really you want to just like, you know what? Bam. This is all my parts. And as I get them done, I'm going to let y'all see if they'll let me, you know, do that, of course. See the installs and things like that, how the car sound, how it's acting. Whenever I go decide to do my tune, you know, tune y'all in on that. You know, just give y'all some content that y'all like, you know what I'm saying? You know, rather than be just sitting here ranting raving about life. I mean, I know there's other content y'all looking for. So, hopefully soon, everything work out, I'll come with it. All right, y'all. Holla back. It's your boy, Raj A.B.